We'll find out once we go in. Mm. And this is the. Not really well, sure. Now not really sure what this is based off. Uh, this is based on a platform level. Tch. Run! Yeah. Yeah, issue. Hot rust come out. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! Okay, that was pretty cool. But yeah, th these these sections are pretty cool, though. Really, most of them aren't really that challenging, especially if you're if you played platformers before. This is an interesting way to get to uh, new areas and just go through yeah. a gate. I do, I do like them as a concept. Though, like sometimes when you have to go back and forth through the worlds, it does get repetitive. <laughs> when is he a splatter? Yeah. Spatter, or did I say splatter or spatter? A spatter, I think. What does that wait? What does that mean? Uh, the um, blotlings, more or less. Yeah, what happened to Mickey's nephews? Oh, yeah. Um. Please remind me. What? Um, Freddy and what was their name? Gertie. I don't know what you're talking Wasn't about. Wasn't one of them based off for Tiny Tim in the, uh, in the Christmas thing special? I honestly, you know, Freddy. I honestly don't know what you guys are talking about. We're Mickey Disney has, nuts. Mickey has two nephews from his sister. Yeah, the other sister, and he, um, they basically show up every so often in the theatrical shorts, like, they haven't really appeared in the oh, animation gosh. since the 80s. He flew ate the, uh, plot line. So they're allies. Yeah, but they can also gain your way. Freaks. <laughs> uh. Oh, actually, I can just do this. Man attack, son. I don't like keeping these guys are Oops. <laughs> oh my gosh. Man. Meta. I guess that means we gotta find the TVs in the area. Oh, there's a gremlin. Mickey Mouse Club. Oh, great. I remember... It was something really stupid. It was like, uh... On this Aladdin special edition DVD I had, and the second disc, um, there was like a thing where it showed like Jeff, uh, um, G traveling the world after the world, after the movie's over. <laughs> that sounds amazing. Had, what? <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? No, but that concept sounds great. Okay, because it, it, it's him sending basically postcards to uh, to Jafar and Iago still trapped in the lamp. <laughs> <laughs> and he's basically show and he basically giving a cock about it. Nice. Uh, and it, one of the bits shows like a it's black and white. It's like it's like a it's like a D Disneyland thing. It's like a it's, it's like some, I think it's something like the whole Mickey Mouse Club thing. Mm. It's like uh, some some kind of goodbye song. And then the camera pulls back on the magical postcard, and it, you just see Genie sitting there like very flatly singing with the kids. Nice. But he's not he's not it's not he's not audibly singing. It's just the thing. Right. And Iyako I and uh, and Jafar are uh, are commenting appropriately. Nice. Uh, I I I should watch that. That sounds hilarious. If I can find it. I'll show you. There's I never been on the DVD, right? Mm. Uh, it is like Jafar gets pissed at Iago, so he, so he gets literally kicks him out of the lamp while they're still in the cave of wonders. <laughs> so it, it, and Genie's lamp is still there. So what he yeah. does is uh. So, like, basically, Iago finds, like, tries to basically stay in the lamp in the place. Mm. And it doesn't go well. <laughs> uh. he's, and, like, he, even, he, even he's complaining about the fact, like, wait a minute, it's this big in here? The guy who's complaining about his itty bitty living space? Oh. Oh, yeah, that. I don't remember. Also, that. Mickey, too. I just fin it out. I don't really want that right now.
I think this game is making me motion sick. Gosh darn it, three platformers always do this to me. Oh! I get it now. Oh, oh, it's for that. Okay. There's, there's a Mickey head thing you have to splatter paint on, which will stop the, 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 the thinner flow. Yeah. And then you have to slow down time to keep it going. Yeah. So much movement. What is the video game? Always mm. oh, stop this to me. What the hell? No! You have to, you have to stop the fan flow completely. The slow down time is to stop it from coming out. Well, how much progress did you lose? Uh. Is the gremlin still trapped? I don't think we ever freed him. No, we did. Wait, how do I. Yeah. So that I know. Ugh. Oh, it looks like he's. It looks like you got him. Yeah, hmm. Well, that's convenient at least. But again, I guess the, if there was something going on about that, the game would have said something about the whole, uh... Well, actually, yeah, the, the game probably would have said something about the TVs again. Yeah. Uh... Oh, there's this. It's, uh, 72... It was 724, I think it was. It was like 726. 726. <laughs> nah, I'm supposed to be the one member. Oh, yeah. hi. Oh, okay. Backtracking. So much backtracking. Well, we, we're, we're gonna go back there when we're done with this place, so. Oh, there's a chest. You're supposed to, yeah, you're supposed to somehow stop the thinner flow up there. Hmm. Well, well, why don't you there's go a, back to the everyone over there? there's, there's, a, plat there's a platform. But the thinner flow is, is stopping you from, from making the platform. Yeah. Oh. oh, what's this? Oh, okay, so not one of those. I think that one's supposed to work with this one over here specifically, so you can get to that treasure. Yeah. That's the way you're supposed to go. Hmm. Yeah, it's gonna fall! So while we're in the area, I'm just gonna play a little Xenoblade. <laughs> Mickey stuff. Mickey stoof. Uh. Little did Oswald know that he that by doing this he completely ruined their value and thus can't sell for millions of dollars. Mm. And thus Epic Mickey 3 was made. Mm. Camera, what the hell are you doing right now? How do you control the cameras on Matic? Uh, D pad. Oh. I don't think it really has. Like, sometimes it feels like it has a fix has fixed camera views, but. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Oh, there we go. Okay, I was, I was wondering what that was. That was making me dizzy. It's only temporary though, right? Probably. I don't even need that platform. Yeah, but I just don't want to pump time for it doesn't do anything. True. Oh, I want to know what the treasure chest has. Keep pressing the room. And I can't even do f uh, first person with it. Is it the camera? Yeah. Oh yeah, it's fighting going on my game right now because I get some because it thinks he thinks the auto battle. <laughs> Where am I landing? Okay, there's gonna be another another one of those things somewhere. Wait, are these like N NES cartridges? They are. Oh, yeah, look over there. That's Mickey. Oh wait, that's Mickey's Mouse Quest. A Super Nintendo cartridge. That is not Super NES. Oh, that's a Super NES cartridge, but. No, I think it's Mouse Quest. Oh, this is a, this is well. That's a Super Nintendo. The others are NES. I have that still. I never actually noticed that. Holy crap! Wow, Warren Spencer really did his homework. 
Yeah, he really likes Mickey Mouse. Hmm. Also, gotta appreciate the fact there's all this architecture of the land, and you know, it was just with with Mickey merchandise. Yeah. I don't know. There's, there's a there's a flow above you. You just gotta go stop it. Yeah, I know, but it's coming from the phone, isn't it? Is it, going, is it coming from the phone? Maybe? Hey, try this, 911. Oh gosh. Oh. That doesn't work either. Never make it yourself. There has to be like a switch or something like the other one. There must be a switch somewhere. Because I don't see a way to get up the. Up there. We'll turn, oh, wait, we can't even go first person. That's not. Oh, that, wait. Oh, whoa. There we go, okay. Oh, it's coming from that. Yeah. So, something has to clog it. That's, that's, that's the head of a telephone. So, it has to, do, it has to involve the, the, it has to involve the, the, the phone somehow. Maybe the phone back in Oztown would tell us? Maybe. Yeah, because the port's going up to that. Hmm. Yeah, I guess. I don't know. Hmm. I don't. We can come back later. Yes, yeah, screw this. We're wasting time. I got really this weird stretched out picture of Pluto. <laughs> What was that one? Alpine Climbers? Yep. Oh, yeah. When are we gonna see My Disney Kitchen anywhere around here? <laughs> I actually remember a really cool thing was, uh, in that was, they actually had a thing where it showed off a bunch of, like, real what, recipes you can do. And one of them, and in the recipe book, uh, actually, basically, uh, you can click on the little pictures of the recipes, and it gives you a, a little Disney clip. Oh, nice. I think one of them was involving eagle eggs, actually. In some, like, it, like, it looked like, it said, like, eagle egg or something. Yeah. <laughs> and then it was, and then it was, and then it actually showed alpine climbers. Nice. So we can go. Where is it? Alright. has to be a phone right above us or somewhere. Yeah, because there's always going to be one film rail. They're floating eyeballs. Uh, not, they're, they're eggs. Yeah. <laughs> they're, unha they're, complete, they're not fully hatched eggs. But we have some meat. There's wings. They're stuck. <laughs> Thing you uh, we just need, we clearly just need a uh, a a uh, dwarf to do some shell smash. Beetle works. Oh, that oh called. yeah, that's that's what the enemies are called. Yeah. Yeah, you have to actually destroy these things. These are actually interesting enemies. Yeah, you actually have to do do. You actually have to fight. Yeah. The combat uh, leaves a lot to be desired, but eh. they tried. The Defender just works on their metal. I'm just gonna say their armor, right? More or less, yeah. I don't know. I think in general, I'm not sure how it works. Like. In platformers, unless it's something like Ratchet and Clank, I think I generally just prefer enemies that go down in one or two hits. Uh, yeah, it, de it, it depends, really. Like, if uh, sometimes a platformer can have multiple hits if it's designed around that, and it's designed well. Like, if you're... What are you saying, Jason? I was gonna ask you if you played the new Ratchet and Clank. I played through the first game, and I was not very good at it, but yeah. I beat it. <laughs> 
I do. I recommend I, the one. I recommend the movie. You know the movie tie-in. I have it. I played I some of it. Yeah, I, I I like it because it because you know, it works more off the mechanics of the later Ratchet and Clank games. I'm probably gonna play the Jack and Daxter series before Ratchet and Clank because there's a lot less games to go through. Oh, I loved uh, I love Jack and Daxter. Jack two will will break you. I uh, yeah, I've heard I've heard I haven't really heard much about three, but I've heard two is like really hard. Ugh. The, when they when they want you to do something involving a timer, it's very strict. In three Vehicle or two? Control. Two. Vehicle controls are flipping awful. How how is three though? Never played it. Mm. Oh, I love it. I was trying to play through them in order. I got 100% on the precursor legacy. Trying to I... play through Jack two, but yeah. Well, there's I. There's a, um, they're re-releasing the games on PS4, I don't know if that's out yet, so I'm probably just gonna play the games through that. Cause there's 1, 2, 3, and X, I think, on there. Believe me, you'd agitate him. What is spray on paint? No, come on, quick, quick, quick. Yeah, I remember these guys, yeah, they just explode. Once you spray them with paint, then they'll always, uh, then they'll just sleep again. Yeah. So we only have our paint thinner thing here. Give me some more paint. Alright, let's, let's fill this up. No, go up a little bit. There we go, okay. What's that? I think it was just because we had the full bars paint paint now. Yeah. Uh, what were we talking about? I I thought I, f I feel like we were having a topic uh, conversation and it. We didn't I think we were talking it. about combat with like one hit like enemies that take multiple hits. Yeah, I mean, um, I. Sometimes I don't mind it, like, I, I didn't really mind it in Heroes or Shadow because those games have stuff that make it, um, fun to fight those enemies and relatively quick, so stuff like, stuff like that, when it gives you, like, ways to work around it where it still has a nice flow to it, I don't mind it. Um, yeah, I'm just saying they tend to... Like, that tends like, yeah, like you mentioned the heroes, you got power characters to go through them quick, yeah, quick, you have, quickly. You have the power characters, you have, um, the level, leveling up system, so like, you can, level 2 thunder shoot can just wreck a bunch of enemies, and the homing attack can one-shot most enemies in level 3. But if you don't have anything like that, then you're gonna, the time is gonna break the pace. Thunder yeah. shoot, destroy everything. Yeah, and I mean, even if you are at level zero with everyone, uh, the power characters do uh, generally do a good enough job. And with Shadow, like the uh, the guns are relatively well well designed and they're fun to use. So, thanks, Auto Lock-On. So yeah, thanks, Auto Lock-On. <laughs> um, so it's very fun and quick to kill enemies. And the, it's like it's the main like if um there were there was an easier way to kill enemies in 06, I probably would have enjoyed that game a lot more. Oh, I forgot. I thought I seriously thought the game was playing. Um. Oh. Okay. Oh, I was playing. Uh, that theme from Kingdom Hearts. Um. Do 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 do. What was that? Uh... The Pete theme. Ready Rumble? Yeah, I seriously thought it was playing that for a second. <laughs> and now what do we do? Do we need to do something with this? That should be a thing. The 726 are... No. That should be something around here. It's not. I know it's not here for decoration. Yeah. Otherwise, why would you really interact with it? 
Yeah. There's a gremlin up there. Can I just reach it? Oh, okay. I don't think you're supposed to do that. Oh, well. It doesn't look like it. Are there any other games you guys can oh, play? Yeah. Oh, okay. I guess we just have to guess it if we didn't three it for him. It didn't even look like he pressed the buttons. Yeah, and he's acting like you did it. Mm. Yeah. Gus is acting like you did it. Yeah. Oh, I guess he's supposed to go around here to get to it now. Uh. That's why. Alright, well, I'm not gonna bother. That's gonna. See this ain't, breaking. This ain't this ain't not a hundred percent playthrough, so if there are collectibles over the eh, doesn't matter. There's, there's a concept over there. Yeah, but we have to make our way back, so I don't even know if I'm gonna make a c an extra video for concept art. You were mentioning something, Harry? about games. Uh... I know. I was asking earlier if you guys could think about any other platformers um, or, or whatever that had multiple uh, hits for enemies. Oh uh, wow! So I can't really think of many. Some enemies. Huh? Shantae? Uh. Um. I guess, but. I, I guess. Guess. I guess that's a different um, kind of platform, though. It's more of a um, Metroidvania. But, um. Um, well, like, what, what else do you. Oh. It's just, um, the only. I guess the PAL version will crash free of the wizards. <laughs> Only if you play in the European version. Yeah, that's why. That's why it's mean by pow. Oh, I didn't hear. I thought you said powered up. Oh, make it crash free, powered up. TV art style. <laughs> they should have. They, they should have gotten a sequel. Are you powered up? Yeah, that's um, kind of sad. And the Capcom actually tried with, with that plus the Cloud series and the X series, and then they basically got no reward for that. I mean, the, uh, the uh, art style for Powered Up, um, interests me. Like, I like, I like the way it looks. I think what killed it was it being on the PSP. Probably, yeah. I didn't even know that. I mean, they're solid, they're solid remakes and all, I mean, like, I saw Clement's playthroughs. Mm. I mean, there, there are some games I like to play on the PSP, but it doesn't warrant me wanting to buy the whole system for it. Even then, you might as well just get a PS Vita. Yeah. Wait, well, even then, the, that's only like a few more games if I got that. And the Vita really should have gone longer. Yeah. Like, if I were to get that, it would be like... Uh, Persona 4 Golden, because that's the better version. <laughs> but And Persona 3 Portable. Um, maybe. Um, or oh, Devin, uh, trust me, you don't want to play the console versions of Persona 3. Now that they're bad cop, it, 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 they are, they're, they're good. It's just yeah, that, uh, yeah. 3 is just, a, portable is just a lot more sh aim beginner friendly. There are a few other things, but, yeah, it, it's just the door, you can do it yourself. Yeah. Okay, yeah, I'm. Not really <laughs> sure. I don't really remember how to get to the axe. Oh crap! Hey. Mm. What spray? Wait, wait. How, how does the thing just flat out spray like condensed thinner? <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Oh wait, you can bend those floors and drop them into it. Yeah, that's what I was doing. Ah! No! He had the same idea. Oh, what? Put you in? And I'll fix 
Jesus. What the heck? Right across the floor. Is that gonna just go up again? Mm, yeah, because yeah, it's it still is. spring. It's still spring thinner. No. It just died temporarily block thinner. Mm. Wait, five? Guys, you just take over the enemies? That's where that boxing glove is. Yeah. I think it also counts if you completely paint an enemy. Mm, probably. I don't think spinning them uh, makes them go out loving Mickey. <laughs> <laughs> wanna try that? I don't want. I don't really want to try that. Cause I don't... now I'm one of the bigger. This is now one of those big dudes. Yeah, I don't want that guy to explode. Ah. Where can I? No. Oh god! I hope those enemies don't see me. Hi, Ricky. <laughs> What? I think he's gonna blade again. Mm -mm. Oh crap, I just died in the middle of a cutscene. What? Oops. Oh, I have to do all this again. Good job, me Oh. Crap. Oh well, well. It doesn't take long. Oh, f goodness sake. Seriously. Uh. Don't die there, I don't want you to fall over the edge, I want your items. Hmm. I'm letting a giant... dragon. Dragon. Buzzball in the loose, people. Would you guys like want to see uh, Epic Mickey Free if they were to do that? They improve again. Wouldn't mind. Huh? I wouldn't mind. I'd be okay. I mean, I'm not exactly. You know, I'm not gonna beg in the in the, Lo in the Lord and Savior War Inspector. <laughs> Is that was that the director for this game? Or? Uh, yes, yes, it was. Okay. I mean, I wouldn't mind it, though. I think it would Not be. Not holding my breath. It's a. Uh, they were. They did say that it was supposed to be a trilogy, but there's no. There's no real reason for it to happen. Go see your great leader Oswald. But I wanna. I would like to get some health, please. Let's see if we can find the axe. Well, I know it's up there, but it's like, how are you gonna get there? Well, I think it's supposed to go around. Oh, what the heck is this? Oh, wait. Oh. I think it's something to do with this, yeah. Sure. <laughs> that, that was a great accident. I did that. I meant to do that. What are we standing on? <laughs> a platform with a thing on it? Sound cartoon. <laughs> Apparently. Be careful, they won't fall too far. Oh. It was above us just now, wasn't it? Yeah, there's a thing there. Oh, wait, what? Is that even a thing? Oh, it's a, dump, it's, it's a block wall. Oh, okay. I was wondering if I had to go up higher or over here. Wait, what? Over there? Uh, this is nasty. Mm, I, don't, dang. I really don't like this jump. This does... makes it oh, what? Oh, oh, okay, that makes it better. <clears throat> I was gonna say, they had to. They actually made, forced you to do that. Uh -uh. Back fast. 
Oh, okay. they're Mickey-shaped aerosol cans. Mm. Wait, not water. Well, it's in there. It should be. Oh, wait. Oh, wait, what? There's a thing. Anvil. I think it's a weight. Yay! There you go. Uh, sure. There we go. Oh, do we go back for not to go in? <laughs> now, we can actually, shack, but... now we can move on. And hopefully I'm not missing. kill ourselves. What, what? I was just talking to myself. No, camera. Alright. Let's go see the great leader, Oswald. But first, we have to do like three different platforming challenges. Oh, there's a cutscene. I forget the uh, order of how the stuff plays out sometimes. Actually, uh, all one at night when Trolley Troubles, I think, is actually in the thing. Yeah, tro oh, I know Trolley Troubles is. Trouble with the trolley, eh? Trouble with the trolley, eh, Spiral? Yeah, I, I, don't, I don't hate that mission like everyone else does. You it's... happen. Yeah. But, uh, no, I... Uh, that was pretty difficult for my first time, but when I recorded a, the game for Seas Brain, it was pretty easy. It's one of those things where... Once you do it this, the second time through, is not too bad. It's not even the hardest mission in Spyro 2. I don't know what everyone's going on about. Uh, which no. One? Wait, which one we talking about? Um, that... I forget the level's called, what the level is called, but it's like this mission where um, you go on a trolley thing, and you have to collect all these little... little uh, what do you collect again? Gears. <laughs> yeah, you collect these gears around the, the area. And if you, uh, like, crash in any way, then you have to do, do the do it all over again. And it doesn't sound... I know, I know that one. It doesn't sound as bad as it, as, um, like, the way it sounds. It's on, It's actually kind of fun, if I'll be honest. It just sounds like an obstacle course, really. It's not, it yeah, that, that's basically what it is. The one I think about the most that kind of annoy me is this one involving uh, in the uh, I think it was called Stony Hills, where like you know you know those big Fra fracture hills. Fra yeah. No, it, it was the one that had the I think maybe it was it was the one that had these giant stone things that you can't be able to have a supercharge. Oh yeah, yeah fracture yeah. hills. Yeah, that's fracture. Oh yeah, so I, I think there's so. this one involving where you have to help this guy score score a potion a hunter. Yeah, that sucks. Uh, that sucks. I I had to cut a lot in my C's run. That's but stupid alchemist. And that like, you can't even like carry that over w before you get the ground plan because like you can do the alchemist part, but like Hunter's gonna be like, oh, we can't hunt the uh, Earth Shakers or Earth Shapers or whatever they're called until you get this ground pound move. So you get that, and then when you go back to the world, you have to do the alchemist thing again. You sure. Yeah, you do. Yeah, so yeah, basically, you... don't bother until you've got the ground pound. Yeah, and it's stupid. And you can't kill... I don't think you can kill the Earth Shapers without Hunter, so... I do like that test with these holds is they're based off the Oswald cartoons. Hmm, yeah. I, s I feel like we were talking about something earlier. Forget. <laughs> Um, Fat the Spyro. Oh, oh, uh, yeah. oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Stupid alchemist. I mean, what was another one? I, I, Spyro Two really, really had some tough submissions in there when they really wanted you to it's, suffer. It's probably the arguably the hardest out of the trilogy. I don't know. I don't know about. I, I might have to go back on that statement, but I'm not sure. Pretty top and validates a lot of Spyro Two missions. I remember. Well, I remember in, to me one of the hardest levels in, in three was in the uh, what, what was what, what was the Western dinosaur level? Uh, 
Are you talking about that one? Oh no, that's my ring too. I'm fucking off. Um, so near the dragon. What's it called? The can't something mines. I think Dino mines. Maybe. Dino Canyon. I don't remember. To Google. I don't really remem <laughs> remember many sections in three giving me too much trouble. Uh, it's called Dino Mines. Mm. Yeah, because there's one where you're playing an Agent Nine, and it's a, and it's a, like a basically like an arcade shooter. All of his missions suck. Uh, All of them. <laughs> oh, oh! I thought you were talking about the penguin. Agent Nine is a monkey, right? Yeah. Right. Our number's great. Agent Nine is. I, li I like Agent Nine though. Some. Oh, that one. Yeah, that that one was kind of unfair. It's it, it's hard for no reason. No, the problem is is that some. It's mainly the, the dynamite guys, because they those gives you like a, like half a second to react sometimes. If you look at the well, normally uh, they always like give us a little taunt before they do it at least. Mm. Well, sometimes like um, Agent Nine is like turning, and like during that time they're doing the taunt, and then when you actually see them, like you have barely any time to react. But uh, I do oh, I do actually kind of like I do like Agent Nine's. Uh, stages do. They're not. Um, like, they're pretty. Bad. You see a rhino? I thought I saw a rhino. Ooh, take over me, Sparrow. There, it's been a week in a cage. That's when you know your whole mind's up. It's the demon Ross. Well, I got a. I ain't. Well, it's the but I got a whole lot of cleaning up to do. Like, I think he's one of my favorite uh, side characters to play as, but he's probably. Um, one of the worst designed ones, especially like comparing it to an actual FPS game. But he just—he moves like a shopping cart, really. Mm. He can't evade for crap. No. Just... His strength is just walking. Yeah. He moves forward, backward, left, right. No actual variation on that. Oh gosh. Hey. Like, he moves like a Pokemon character in Ruby and Sapphire. <laughs> like, huh? four directions, no dive, no movement. Oh, right, yeah. Mm. Like, I remember one of the things. you a run button in, 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 as, a gen, as a red gen. Yeah. Like, I remember one reviewer commenting Agent right. 9 was their favorite character, so I was kind of looking <laughs> forward to him, but. No. I like Agent Nine, but um. Uh, do you worse than the uh, what's it called? It, it, you know those GBA games? Oh yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. The, the overhead in, ones. In Attack of the Rhinox, or or rip, in, or in for the GBA, one of in, in, you actually is like side missions of Agent Nine. Mm. And they're kind of annoying. Mm. I remember. They are pure stealth, and you can't mm. get seen at all. <laughs> I remember Season of Flame having missions with Agent Nine. Those were fun. What else again? Uh, oh, one thing, one mission I had trouble with in Spyro 3 was that one where uh, it was the the um, what was the penguin called again? Sergeant, Sergeant Bird. Bird. So yeah, Sergeant Bird. Like that, the one where like you're in this room and you have to fight the witches or something. Like that gave me a lot of trouble. Worst mission. Oh, I know what that level was too. Forgetting the realm, it's like but something it's... towers. Something towers, yeah. Uh, I think it was spiral towers. I don't... Oh, yeah, it was the one we're gonna help this guy who like destroyed the a sorcerer statue. I don't remember barely any of the stage names in Spyro. Like I remember, <laughs> I remember treetops, but that's about it. Spyro one. Yeah, Fracture Hills. I think Stone Hill was another one. Spyro one. Stony um, Hollow, man. It was. Hmm? It was called Stony Hollow. Hey, oh, look at that. It's a Chaos Heart. <laughs> uh, Stony Hall? Hollow. No, that's a different stage. It, it's, um. There's, um. Dark Hollow? No, that's. that's no. That's Black Knight. Um. It's. There's a stage called Something Hollow. I don't think it's Stone Hollow, though. I think we're gonna finally see Oz Oswald. Is that him just now? Yep. Hello. Apparently, he's thrown. Apparently, he does like Mickey. <laughs> yeah, seriously, I just saw that on his chair. 
Well, I'm talking about his, uh, the Mickey symbols above his head. Mm -hmm. They didn't do anything to piss him off.